had a post on Facebook. A friend of mine is in the Navy, and uh, he was kind of uh, lamenting <laughs> that he's not doing what they trained him to do, and I, I totally get it. I was trained as an airframes mechanic, and when I uh, got to the fleet, I ended up, you know, doing. Uh, basically grease monkey stuff uh, grease and rotor heads sweeping parking lots and uh, cleaning barracks and, and you know fun stuff like that that's beside the point so I told him study up and pass your your promotion exam uh, and make we call it rate make rate as fast as you can and uh, it gave me an idea to make a video about studying I really didn't know how to study until I got uh, into college. I, I took community college part-time when I was in the Navy and it was a psychology class and what this psychology professor told us is that all through our lives we are, are told or, or taught to study by getting the information in but nobody really tells you that studying it is good but the goal of studying is to get the information back out and uh, you know and, and that was like really profound for me at that moment because I never really thought about it like that the you know tests are not about testing how much information you got into your head it's about what you can get back out onto that paper so uh, studying is about being able to recall that information when you need it. And I remember uh, some, some teachers we had allowed us a, a little 3x5 card or 5x7 card uh, and write everything we can uh, about what we studied and we could use that on the, on the test. Well, the trick was when, when we were at home, you know, writing in, in microscript on that little note card, uh, we were actually studying. We were um, recalling that information and writing it down on a piece of paper. And uh, so it was kind of a backhanded trick uh, for studying. And what the, the psychology professor told us also was some, some techniques. Uh, different people learn different ways. And some people learn can learn by just seeing th something once and some people have to read over and over again and uh, and even that is ineffective for for a lot of people my what worked for me were note cards or flash cards uh, however you want to call them and what I did was I I would uh, for for like multiple choice type qu uh, tests and that's what tests when I was in the Navy uh, were they gave you these big ass books and uh, and they had hundreds hundreds of questions in them uh, multiple choice questions and you had to do them and you had to turn them in uh, to, to kind of as a prerequisite to being able to take the the promotion exams and so what I did was I took those books after I learned uh, how to how to study and, and uh, for for tests um, I took those books and I would literally write all the questions uh, on on three by five note cards and put the answers in the back. Um, and I, I ended up with like thousands and thousands of, of um, note cards. But I would keep like 50 or 100 of them with me at all times on my person. And I would read the read the cards that when I was on, on when I was on watch or. Uh, if there was downtime during the day, I could read them. Or if I'm sitting in front of the TV or something like that during a commercial, I read uh, a few of those note cards and and try to answer them. And then the ones that, for some reason, I could never ever get the right answer to. I could never remember the answer to. Uh, I would go in the book and I would read up on it. On you know because to me, if it didn't make sense, I couldn't remember it. You know why was this answer the way it was? Uh, and so when I looked it up and I understood the background behind why the answer is what it is, uh, it helped me remember. Uh, you know, uh, some people write notes, even though they don't ever look at them again, writing notes down or just transcribing what they read 
uh, there there has been proof I don't know what the studies are I can't quote what the studies are but supposedly there's proof that when you write stuff down you're more uh, likely to remember it even if you don't ever read it again so um, I, I took a lot of notes I wrote uh, and that's another thing you know um, learning how to write and the best way I can say to do uh, how to you know write notes is just to write everything down uh, it, it helps you with your writing speed and, and eventually you, you know what to write down what things to pick up on so anyway that's a quick little note on how to study it's not about getting it in it's about getting it out write it down do note cards um, oh uh, study groups study groups is another another good way to study quiz each other when I was uh, getting my my air warfare certification uh, I had a I had a study buddy study partner and we would ask each, each other questions and after a while you know it's like you know that's an easy question um, it, it's like singing a song you, you hear it over and over and over again you start knowing all the words to the song uh, you know it, we got kind of bored asking each we ran out of questions to ask each other because we knew the other person knew what the answer was but that was another effective way because you're practicing recalling the information um, the other thing uh, way I is I, I actually take the t a test I, I have um, you know I, I have t practice tests that I take um, just like with the SAT uh, SATs well a lot of companies publish practice SAT tests practice taking those tests um, because the, the only way you're going to get better at taking tests is pr practice taking tests. And if you think about it, everything you do in life uh, that, that you are good at or, or got better at, you practiced. Baseball, if you played baseball, you went to baseball practice. If you, um, you, know, if you shoot, you, you practice shooting. Uh, but nobody really thinks about practicing taking a test. Uh, and when money and careers on the line, it's it's definitely worth your time to go and practice taking exams that relate to your profession. So that's all I got. I hope that helps. See you later.